Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Sustainable Transport in 21st Century session of today's event. I'd like to just quickly introduce myself. I'm uh, Nicholas Hill. I'm the Knowledge Leader for Transport Technologies and Fuels at AEA, which is one of the UK's leading environmental consultancies. We've got quite a quick, uh, quite a, a short session today, um, a couple of speakers. Um, so I'm going to just give a brief introduction to transport, why it's important, where we're going, um, and then we'll have uh, two speakers coming on, um, Steve Phillips from Amy and Helen Wilson from Transport for London. Um, we'll have those two presentations followed by questions and answers at the end. So, transport, why is it important? Well, transport uh, is, is accounts for currently around a quarter of the UK's greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and contrary to most of the uh, other sectors, it's the only one that's been continuing to rise uh, in the last uh, 10, 15 years. So, in that context, it's, uh, it's quite a significant issue, so why there's a lot of interest on it. And the main reasons for that are um, because the options, partly because the options to reduce emissions from transport are quite expensive compared to some of the other sectors, but also because of the uh, while there are direct links between transport activity and, um, and economic growth. So in terms of uh, transport sector and, and, and the different modes of transport, um, sort of chart up here sort of gives an illustration of uh, the relative importance of the different uh, transport modes in the UK. You can see the passenger cars sector um, is very, very significant, um, over 40% of total emissions including um, all international emissions from, from aviation and, and marine. Uh, and, and you can also see the importance of, of the aviation sector as well, um, where emissions have been growing some at, at the sort of fastest rate compared to other forms of transport. So just to, in terms of the introduction, in terms of relating this to the business, um, I'm going to sort of focus briefly on the same context for vans and, and, and sort of heavy duty vehicles uh, sector, which around just over 22% of uh, transport emissions total transport emissions, or about 30% of domestic transport emissions. So where, where, have, where have we been going uh, over the last sort of, um, 20 years? Well, as you can see, the, the emissions from, uh, from transport have increased from 15 to 20% um, since 1990. In the 1990s there, because that's the base year for carbon budgets and also things like the Kyoto Protocol. So overall traffic uh, growth has increased quite significantly in the, the sort of the top line you can see at the top is, is actually vans, and that's grown by almost 70% in 2008, which is um, considerably higher than some of the other modes of transport. Um, so, you know, it's, it's quite a significant sector. So, at AEO, we've done a fair bit of work looking at the van sector, trying to understand why the sector has grown so quickly in relation to, to other parts of transport. And part of the reason for that is um, increasing uh, use. Of, uh, of growth in sort of the micro business sector, so businesses with sort of less than 10 people, which use sort of vans quite often as their sort of workhorse, and those actually comprise around um, over 40% of total van activity in the UK at the moment from, from that sector. And sort of business statistics um, report very rapid growth in this sector, um, and that sort of really is reflecting um, sort of change in the UK business profile. So. In terms of what's being done to, to uh, tackle from a technical perspective van emissions, there's new regulations which are coming into force soon at the European level, which will um, require vans to reduce their um, CO2 emissions from, from new, all new vehicles, and that's sort of paralleling um, existing developments for passenger cars where there are existing regulations um, which will result in a decrease in emissions from new vehicles. In terms of um, heavy duty vehicles, in particular trucks, this sector is actually very complicated. There's a huge diversity in both sizes of vehicles, but also um, the specifications with onboard equipment or auxiliaries, um, but also in the patterns of use. I mean, broadly from the truck's perspective, they can be categorised into a number of different areas, um, from sort of urban delivery type operations, uh, operating mainly in urban areas, through to operations which run more regional or even long haul. And also significant are, is particularly significant in the UK, is the construction sector, which accounts for around 20% of the rigid and heavy duty vehicles. So, actually, the majority of freight transport by road is, is carried out um, for longer distance trips, and the majority of that is actually uh, taken by higher and water operations rather than um, 
uh, freight operators who are carrying their own goods, who also account for and the significant, uh, the greatest portion of sort of purchases in new vehicles. So, what are the options for reducing greenhouse gas emissions from this sector? Well, there are technical options which I'm sure all of you have come across or are familiar with. Various technical and uh, technical options, including action on the engine itself, improving the engine overall engine efficiency, looking at the drive line, so hybrid type technologies, looking at the vehicle, so looking at improved aerodynamics, uh, uh, low rolling resistance tyres, or intelligent transport systems or innovative information and communication technologies to help uh, manage sort of operational efficiency and driver behaviour. And there's also, nothing to get, also very sizable um, efficiency improvements can be attained through operational measures. measures. And again, there's a number of different options there and there's all the, the benefits that can be achieved for those are sort of equivalent sort of size to, trans to sort of technology size. In terms of regulation, in terms of uh, the actual vehicles themselves, that's really only at a preliminary stage in Europe. So there are no sort of regulations which are driving down the um, uh, emissions from heavy duty transport. But, um, but this sector, because of the uh, fuel comprising such a large sector of the overall cost of transport operators, is already quite driven to reduce its emissions.